Hey everyone, it's me, John, here with another Brain Scratch Searchlight update. Um, unfortunately, we once again have not the best news in this case. However, we can say that Gary Joseph Youngblood has been found. Unfortunately, he has passed on. I was contacted by one of his family members on this case, and there has been uh, a few news articles, which many of you brain scratchers have been sending to me. Thank you so much for uh, helping to keep me updated on this. Let's take a look at one of the articles over at WITN.com. Skeletal remains found last month by a city worker in Roanoke Rapids have been identified and foul play is not suspected in the death. Medical records and DNA samples helped make a positive ID in the case, according to police. The remains were found March 21st in some woods behind an empty building on US 158 by a public works employee. The cause of death isn't yet known, but police say foul play is not suspected at this time. Um, you know, when they're talking like that, it certainly can change depending on what comes back from the medical examiner. Um, the fact that these remains are skeletonized uh, certainly can make it tough to determine cause of death in some cases. So um, there is a chance that this could flip to a foul play situation. Quite honestly, for the sake of the family, I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, it's hard enough to be going through this type of loss. And then when you find that there's a whole new pursuit ahead of you, which is justice for that loss that can go on for years and years, it, it can really, I think, stretch out kind of the pain of this whole occurrence, which is already something that they're going to be dealing with for the rest of their lives. Um, but it could twist it into other types of things that are really hard for people to deal with. So unless something really did happen to them that included foul play, of course, in that situation, I want them to know the truth and I want them to have the opportunity to seek justice. I'm just really hoping that um, they find out that this wasn't that type of issue, but there's really no way to tell at this point. They have kicked on a different GoFundMe campaign for him. They did have one originally uh, for his search, but uh, now they have kicked on one specifically to help give him a proper and decent memorial. They note that um, you know he did not have any life insurance. This is a guy that was only 28 years of age. You really don't think about life insurance at that age. Uh, so they're looking to just make sure that they can give him a good memorial. Another tough searchlight update, um, but for now at least we can consider this case closed and uh, just wish all the best to his family in terms of them healing. Uh, on behalf of myself and my Patreon supporters, we will be contributing to this GoFundMe to help make sure that they can bring him uh, a decent and proper memorial. Um, so thank you guys so much. It really means a lot to me that I'm able to contribute in that way, and it's because of you guys. So thank you for allowing me to do that. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you right back here on the Lord and Arts channel.